What do we got? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Do we need anything else, really? Okay. I'll probably get it when the tournament comes around. All right. All right, John, you ready to try it? I was just making Brie take a couple shots as it spins. Let's give it a try. Now. Cheers. Cheers. Tar charts, what do you, where are you? Have you tried it yet? What do you think? We haven't tried this one yet, have we? No, we haven't tried this one yet. Mmm. Mm. I love the spice from the mint and the falernum. I do too. It's a really great punch. Ooh. Yeah. It's really fun. Nice I and subtle. The, the ginger mixes with the with the falernum. I like the nose of the mint a lot. Yeah. So is that your addition? The uh, spray? No, they called for they called for this particular garnish in the book. I do remember. I did I I did read it. I just kind of forgot some of the things. Um, John, I love your acrylic straw. I'll call that out. Washable, reusable acrylic straws for everybody out there. Tart Tarts forgot to write. Shout Bye. out to Surfside Sips. Oh, I'm sorry, Tart Tarts. So it's a little different. Just a little bit. All right. Well, hey, you know, I know somebody who has mint that might be able to hook you up. Just saying. Might, might happen. You might have to retest this drink out again, I think. Hmm. Yeah, because that having your nose yeah. in that, uh, that this, that's great. Also, by the way, it's resting on the glass. Uh, I've never gotten actually meant to stand up so well. So putting your nose to that, even with a straw, really does inform the flavor. Yeah, the, the I mean, it's really an important part. We've talked about that with garnishing. I mean, a lot of the times, the uh, the garnish. Um, is there for the oils and for the olfactory uh, the olfactory hints that it's giving you to make that to complete that cocktail. Mm 